Hey everybody, it's Andrew. Today I have This Is Our Story by Ashley Elston, and it is amazing, much like her other thriller, mystery, duology, The Rules for Disappearing. But today we're going to talk about this. It's brand new, and it is fantastic. One boy in a group of five was murdered one morning when they were going to go hunting after a party that happened. All five boys are kind of preppy and rich, and they decide... All right, we're just going to stick together, and no one's going to say that any of us shot him. No one's going to accuse. It's all going to be an accident, and we're going to be fine. Well, Kate is determined to have that not be fine, and she is determined to investigate along with her mother and her boss. Kate especially feels like getting involved because she's been falling for Grant through text after meeting him a few months ago at the library and exchanging numbers. She's pretty torn up about what happened to Grant and she wants justice for him to be served and refuses to let these boys get off scot-free. We get a few perspectives throughout the book. The main one is Kate's, but we also get an unnamed perspective of the person who killed Grant. There's also various interviews and interrogations that we see through Kate's eyes of what people have described what was going on around the night and the morning of the shooting happening. Many things are slowly revealed throughout the book and it really keeps you wanting more and it was really hard for me to put this down, especially when I knew I had other things to do. For me personally, my mind was changing all the time about who I thought the killer might be because there kept being more and more weird things. All these boys are very secretive and kind of just not great people. They're very involved in some negative things like dealing and betting and lots of crazy parties. They're all hiding something and it really makes you suspicious about all of them for most of the book. And for my mind to change it a few times until I finally got to the end and I was like, wow! I wasn't sure. I mean, at that point I couldn't really be surprised around this part because I just... I couldn't decide who was doing what, but then it all made sense by the time it wrapped up, and that's what I love about her book, is that it just really keeps you going. You, it's not really predictable, in my opinion, and I think that's really great for a mystery thriller, and it really kept me going, and I, I can't say how much I enjoyed this enough for a... Just a like, the, the quote here says, slow burning mystery that will leave you breathless. I completely agree, and I completely recommend it. I think this book is finally getting me out of my reading slump that I've been in all month, and I'm so excited to hopefully be reading more, and I hope that some of the next books I read are as good as this one. Absolutely, five stars. I loved it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.